snap. Opponent snapped. Victory. What's up everybody? Hope you are doing fantastic. Welcome back to this channel. In today's video, we have some interesting conquest gameplays to showcase with this Loki by Night deck. The only difference with this version is that we subbed in the new Werewolf by Night. This way we can play him on turn 3 before we play Loki, which can add more flexibility for more winning conditions in late game. Other than that, the strategy and combos remain the same as your typical Loki deck. Well, that's about it for today's intro. Not much to say but a lot gameplays to enjoy. Now, ready for some exciting gameplay actions? Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons, and let's get started! Opponent snap, snap. This is the best part about playing Conquest. Give me a good 6 cost please. Let's play Red Guardian on Daredevil. Wind, aid my hand. Play Elsa in the middle. We can move her to the left with Heimdall later. Let's play Angela and Snowguard Hawk this turn. Then we can play Heimdall in the middle next turn to move cards. <laughs> Let's hope Kitty can be enough to win the left lane. Why play Super Scroll? We don't have Devil Dinosaur in this deck. Victory! Okay, straight to round 3 of this game. We are down by 3 cubes now. Opponent is playing a Darkhawk deck. Let's play Angela this turn. I don't want to play Jeff in the middle to clog ourselves because I want to play Werewolf. Let's play Elsa to buff Kitty. Then we can copy Kitty on Bar Sinister. We need to focus on the left and right lane. Most likely we will abandon mid because we don't have big card to overpower their Darkhawk. Let's copy Kitty and buff Jeff. Then move Werewolf.
I think opponent will play Darkhawk or a high power card in the middle. If so, they probably only going to play one card because they need to move Jeff. Kitty to the left will be just enough to win the lane. Right lane is pretty secured with two more Kitty there. Nice! Let's try to end this! Oh, snap. Opponent, snapped. Opponent ran out of patience and took the bait. Let's build up Angela first. Nice, RIP to their Dark Hawk. I'm going to play Blob on the right. This way we can move him on turn 6 if needed. <laughs> Let's buff Jeff with Elsa on the right. Let's move Jeff to the right, then play Red Hulk on the left. Thank you. Next. Do you think I should play Kitty first? Opponent is either a Tribunal or Junk Deck. Tribunal deck confirmed. Jeff to the middle is not gonna be enough if they have Blue Marvel. Let's play Snow Guard to see if we can end the game on turn 6. Moving Jeff to the middle first, then we will use Snow Guard Bear to buff the hand again. 
We have Red Guardian to stop their Blue Marvel or Iron Man. It's clobbering time! Okay, let's end it this turn. The mystery intrigues me. This time I'm going to play Kitty first. Let's get the Snow Guard Hawk ready. Then we snap and try to go for a clean sweep. No point to hide it as opponent already know we are going to end the game on turn 6. Cable just had the play of the game. It's a wrap. I don't even have to show off my math skills here, I just know if we are winning now, we are gonna have more power when opponent plays Tribunal. Such is my judgment. I am Iron Man. Let's also play Jeff in the middle. Wait, I think we should play Werewolf. It seems we haven't even played him at all. It's such an irony that we playing a Loki by night deck without playing Loki or Werewolf by night. We have Red Guardian too. I thought we can finally play Loki this game, but no Quinjet, let's just play Valentina instead. Ow. 
Ultron should secure the middle for us because opponent likely won't be able to play cards there. There's no strings on me. Let's build up left lane first. We can get rid of Thunderbolt Tower with Snowguard Hawk if we decide to play Red Guardian next turn. I'm playing Werewolf just to prove he is useful in this deck. Opponent must thought we are gonna play Snowguard Hawk. Nope. No guard bear to the left first, then red guardian to the right with werewolf, abandoning mid because opponent will anticipate we move cards there. Reverse psychology. What can I say? It's not a good day to play Loki, but it also shows that you can win a lot games without him with a Loki deck. Let's play Elsa first. No Loki, at least we can use Werewolf to finish off the game. This should do it, man what a way to showcase this Loki by night deck.
that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. See you next time, and happy snapping!